Today I'll be discussing biochar research at ISTC as well as with the Illinois Biochar Group that we host. I'm coordinator of that group and it's comprised of members from throughout the Midwest. Some of you may be asking just what is biochar? So let's take a closer look. Um, this shows uh, wood biochar that has uh, very high surface area and also multiple pore structure. Biochar is a carbon rich material produced by heating biomass to 350 to 750 degrees C in the absence of oxygen. The process is called pyrolysis. Uh, biomass that can be used are materials such as corn cobs, corn stover, used coffee grounds, wood, and animal manures. Uh, the uh, pyrolysis process produces three products. These are syngas, bio oils, and black carbon or biochar. The amounts of each produced depends on the production methods and the conditions. Uh, also, the properties of the biochar depend on the feedstocks. So biochar then is part of the black carbon continuum, which includes soot and charcoal. Uh, it's not a new material. It's been around and used in soils for centuries, even with ancient civilizations. Uh, as we examine biochar more closely now, the researchers are finding that biochar can have different effects on soil fertility, water, and nutrient retention, ability to sequester carbon, depending on the feedstocks used, production, and storage methods. We at ISTC are investigating biochar for reducing fertilizer use, for absorbing nutrients and contaminants, as it has very strong absorptive property, and for use in supercapacitors instead of activated carbon for energy storage. Uh, researchers in our Illinois biochar group are conducting field and lab studies, which I'll describe next. Research on biochar has grown exponentially in the last five years, not only in the Midwest and U.S., but worldwide. Uh, one of our members, uh, Kim Gip Kevin Gibson at Purdue University, is examining biochar applied to soils for prairie restoration. And he's finding that biochar has some potential for increasing native big blue stem growth but not sericea, which is uh, a noxious weed. Kurt Spokus at the USDA and his colleagues are conducting multiple field trials throughout the U.S. using different biochars on different crops. And he's also characterizing the properties of the different biochars. He and his colleagues are conducting uh, lab studies examining the effect of nutrient cycling and also the production and consumption of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and methane. Uh, related to that, Krishna Reddy of the University of Illinois at Chicago is investigating the use of biochar as potential landfill cover, since biochar has been shown to enhance methane adsorption and oxidation. We're doing some collaborative work with researchers at Southern Illinois University investigating biochar use in riparian buffers planted with native uh, giant cane to test if biochar mixed in soil can help reduce uh, nutrient runoff in the streams. This slide shows the field study area where the rainfall is collected from runoff from cornfields in the various treatments with biochar, cane, and other grasses. We are also um, uh, assisting scientists at this Illinois State Water Survey who are examining biochars for the amount and bioavailability of PAHs or polyaromatic hydrocarbons. These are of concern because they are carcinogenic. Our concentrations are usually small, but some researchers have found uh, concentrations of up to 80 parts per million, depending on the feedstock and pyrolysis conditions. In this study, as you can see, the levels at 550 degrees C are much lower than at 450. Another collaboration we have is with Rick Larson of NRES, who's studying antioxidants in bio oils produced through the pyrolysis process. Bio oils have uh, natural antioxidants structurally similar to BHT and BHA, uh, which are synthesized from petroleum. So the natural antioxidants from bio oils could be a green alternative uh, to help prevent or slow oxidation in biofuels. We also have member Paul Anderson, who is working uh, in designing better cook stoves for use in third world countries and also helping them with utilizing biochar as fuel or for soil applications. So biochar is very interesting and diverse material. Uh, please think about if you'd be interested in collaborating with us on using